Hmm. All right, I'm done. All right, well, this boots. Today we're going to go over how to create a boot disk for Windows on our Mac using Boot Camp. I'm going to be using this USB drive. It's 16 gigs. And it should be more than sufficient. Blur password. We pre downloaded Windows. And that can be found by going to Microsoft's site or typing Windows 10 download. And go here, select your edition. We're going with Windows 10, confirm. Uh, more download options, choose product language. Well, since we're Speaking English, and that's the closest thing to America. Confirm. We want to download 64 bits since we have a 64 bit machine. Let's go ahead and plug in our uh, USB drive. It'll take, depending on your speed, between 5 minutes and 15 minutes to download Windows. And then you want to just fire up Boot Camp. Uh, continue. I'm going to create a Windows 10 install disk, download the latest support software from Apple, and install a Windows 10 or later. So those are all fine. And we want to use this disk. Very important. Everything will be lost on this disk. So there, if there was anything on this flash drive, it is gone. It will reformat the flash drive. Continue. And it found my uh, download for Windows. And it warns you again the drive will be erased. So while this is going through, I want to touch on some things that are needed. It's got to be a 2015 or newer MacBook, a 2012 or newer MacBook Air, 2012 or newer MacBook Pro, 2012 or newer iMac. Um, it says all iMac Pros, and a 2012 or newer Mac Mini, and a 2013 Mac Pro. Well, we're using a 2012 Mac Mini here, so we should be good. Uh, I never, I don't think I ever mentioned the specs of this. It's an i7. Uh, 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte hard drive. Uh, the hard drive was upgraded to an SSD so that I could do things like this. While this is still going, uh, you want your USB flash drive to be USB 2.0 or 3.0 or USB C. But in our example here, I'm using a USB 2.0 flash drive and it has to be at least 16 gigs uh, USB drive. And that's what I'm using here. And for the OS, it says it can do it on 64 gigs, but it recommends 120. I'm gonna say do at least 150 if you wanna use it for more than just surfing the web and email. I'm going to be doing a 50-50, so it'll get 500 gigs. Also, try to have the bare minimum plugged in to the machine. I have power, monitor, mouse, keyboard, and the USB drive. If you are using a USB-C monitor, it will show up as a blank screen for up to two minutes.
here we are at the partition screen and I'm just going to divide equally. So I got 500 gigs for OS X, 500 gigs for Windows, and I'm going to choose install. And I'm going to let this go for its 10 minutes. Blurring the password. Now this should reboot me to a Windows install screen. Okay, here we go. Mac boot sound. Finally booted. I have to choose the Windows partition at the boot menu, not the EFI. And had to get a keyboard that I could get into the BIOS from. Well, get to the boot menu from. I don't have a product key. We went 10 Pro. And we want to use unallocated space. And then we wait. Okay, here's the part where everything gets good. We want to do the bootcamp install, but we want to wait till after the spinning wheel goes away. All right, so now I accept. Yay, display driver. All right, should have installed all the drivers. And we'll restart. And we have internet. Okay, don't forget to check for your Windows updates. And that's been all for this version video. Thank you. Have a good day.